We return back to the sewer. Here's your look at the Funko It action figures set one, Pennywise, Beverly, and Ben. In a disturbing sight, Pennywise comes included with the severed arm, Beverly comes included with the iron, and Ben, unfortunately, doesn't come with any accessories at all. First thing, the very first thing we'll do is measure how tall these figures stand. Hopefully Pennywise will not fall over on me. Oh, I shouldn't have even said that. Now I've jinxed things. The figure, let me just do that again. There we go. Too busy talking. There we go. The figure stands 4.2 inches in height, which in centimeters works out to be 10.8 centimeters tall. We're going to go ahead and switch that back to, to inches. And we're going to measure off to the very top of Ben. Ben's a little bit shorter, so I can move the tape measure a little bit lower down. And Ben stands at a little smaller, 3.5 inches in height. Centimeter-wise, you're looking at 9 centimeters exactly. And last but certainly not least, let's have a look at Beverly. I'm getting a little faster at switching these over, I know. I was just thinking that myself. Beverly is a little bit shorter than Pennywise, but a little bit taller than Ben. She stands 3.6 inches in height, which again in centimeters works out to be a little bit taller than Ben, 9.2 centimeters exactly. Yeah, unfortunately Ben doesn't come with any accessories. I guess he does if you want to technically count his backpack. The backpack is removable kind of in the same way as uh, I think Bill. Bill was the one that came with the backpack and the other release. Now, unfortunately, Bill Bill's was a little easier to take off. I mean, this is loose, but you have to kind of get it over top of, unfortunately, over the arms of Ben's very large torso. I think for the, for the sense of being able then to struggle and put this back on, I'm probably just going to leave this off for the time, or leave it on, I should say, for the time being. But that's what the knapsack, backpack, whatever you would want to call it. That's what it looks like on Ben's torso. Again, a very large torso. We're going to look at those figures a little bit, well, each of the figures a little bit more extensively. Pennywise comes included with a rather disturbing severed arm, just sort of flopping it in the wind, waving at the, uh, the kids looking over at him. It's covered in dirt or blood, likely dirt. Uh, they have opted, it seems, where the ripped off area of the arm is not to paint it. I guess they didn't want it to be too gory, not any more gory than it has to be. And the hand, or the arm, does fit into Pennywise's hand, just like that. And you can have him, whoops, you can have him waving. Let's just hold on one second. Sigh. There's the hand. Put it back into Pennywise's hand, the arm in the hand. Let's drop no more pieces, knock on wood for the rest of this review. Uh, the last accessory is an iron or a rod iron bar, a little spike on the top, and you can put that into Beverly's hand, just like that. At the very least, she comes with an accessory. I guess she could have come with other things as well, but that's the accessory that they decided to go with, Funko, that is. So there are your three figures. Now to do some size comparisons over yonder to the side of my backdrop here. I've got the other figures here that we'll bring in. These are the ones that we looked at before. Get him all straightened up. There's Bill. There's Bill. Little, Bill's much taller, obviously. Little tiny Georgie. Georgie's the, clearly the smallest. And then, of course, we had another Pennywise. The Pennywise, I'm going to show you the two. I'm going to take the hand out because I know the, the direction that that's going to go. Here's the two Pennywises that we've gotten. The bodies clearly appear to be the exact same to one another, but the head sculpts are different from one another. This one is a much more sinister looking Pennywise versus this more relaxed Pennywise. I still feel like both the head sculpts are really big on these. Head sculpts should have been a lot smaller. Proportionally, they just seem way too big for the bodies that they're supposed to be attached to. Other than that, though, like I said, the bodies are exactly the same. I even think like the hands. Yeah, the hands are exactly the same as well. So if you wanted to say display Pennywise with 
the arm. I guess you could do that as well. Probably will still have this <laughs> still still have the same problem of it falling out, but for the time being, there it is right there. I'm very carefully not dropping it. I dropped enough things in these reviews. Uh, so like I said, the, there's not too much different between the two Pennywises other than really again the head sculpt. Head sculpt, like I said, is good. Creepy in a smaller sort of retro reaction style of figure, although these ones do have the additional hinges in the arms. I realize not everyone's cup of tea, I even mentioned that in the other review, not everyone's going to jump on board a three and three quarter inch size uh, it figure line, but I kind of dig these in the way that they are smaller figures, sort of again the things that I would have grown up with uh, when I was way back when, because I'm old, old, very old guy. Uh, for posability on this guy, the Pennywise that is, his head would normally rotate back and forth all the way around. It sort of does hit something along the way. I think it's his chin that hits the ruffle there of his collar that sort of sticks the figure in place. Doesn't allow the figure's head to move any bit further past that. Doesn't have any waist swivel. The arms do hinge outward to about there. That's, I guess, a 45 degree angle. The arms rotate all the way around. Bend at the elbow. Rotation, no, no rotation there, and no rotation in the hands. Uh, legs, forward and back, bend at the knees, bend at the knees, bend at the knees, and that's it. That's all you're getting. So I guess that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine points of articulation. Not bad. Not bad, really, when you think of the scale of these figures. Now, we've already looked at Bill and Georgie, respectively, so I'm actually going to take those guys off. Sorry, guys. I know you already looked at you guys in a previous review. And we'll have a look instead at Ben. Now, again, I don't know what's going on with Ben. I know he's a, he's a slightly more heavier set character. That's a nice enough way of saying he's a little obese in the movie. But uh, I do feel like the torso is way too big on him. He has no neck. Well, you can barely see a neck because his face covers over top of that. But he's got this excessively large torso. So much so, again, just taking the backpack off of him was very difficult. He does have a pair of blue jeans, which has knee articulation. I guess the legs have knee articulation. And he's got a pair of little black boots. On his t-shirt is a wolf. I like that the wolf, actually, inside the wolf is like a little wildlife, wild you know, trees and all that stuff. I think that's cool. Head sculpt is passable. Does it really look like him? No. But it gets the point I suppose across. You know, for such a small piece, I'm happy actually that Funko even airbrushed things like cheeks. His little areas of his cheeks are a little bit more reddish. A little bit of twinkle there in his eyes. The hair does look a little on the light side, but again, we're kind of criticizing, critiquing a small three and three quarter inch size Ben. Pose Billy on this guy would be the exact same as arms rotate all the way around, bend at the elbow, nothing in the wrists. Uh, the head is on a very, actually very good ball joint. That's one thing that's good for this particular figure. Legs move forward and back, is bent at the knee, and uh, nothing in the ankle. So there's Ben. Up to this point, by the way, I still haven't picked up uh, I guess it is when I'm set three, which should be Pennywise, um, uh, Pennywise, I'm trying to think of the other ones, Stan and Mike, I think were the other set. It was because there was four sets released. I only managed to pick up so far three of the four sets, so I'll keep my eyes open for the other set. Anyways, so we've got Beverly here with the iron rod. It's broken off there. It's just cast in black plastic, nothing overly complicated about it. it. does hold in her very small hands. Sometimes when you are putting it in her hands, you gotta make sure that you're not bending the thumb as a result of that. See, see what's happening right there? That thumb is getting bent. You can also feed it up that way. Feed it, put it into her hand that way, or also just slides into place like this as well. I think this hand holds it a little bit better than this hand here. Again, the head sculpt isn't fantastic, but I think that the Beverly head sculpt looks a little bit better than Ben's head sculpt. She's just wearing her flower. I don't know if it's a flower dress. It sort of kind of looks like little keys. A little bit. There's the back of it right there. She's got her uh, little bracelet on. Her boots. 
bare legs. And the, uh, the dress, by the way, is a soft plastic. And she's got the little, little key necklace there. Actually, a couple of necklaces there. Head sculpt, like I said, is good. It's one of the better ones. You know, her and uh, Bill, actually, I find are so far the pretty good head sculpts of these. And then some of the misses, like Georgie, really didn't look a whole lot like Georgie. I don't feel like Ben really looks a whole lot like Ben. Her posability, though, her head rotates all the way around via ball joint. Let me, just, let me just show you here. Maybe I won't take it off. There's the ball joint in there. Uh, the arms hinge out. They rotate all the way around. She has a bend at the elbow. Uh, the arms don't rotate. You would almost even think that the way that they hinge, I'm so spoiled by other figures that as soon as you have a hinge in the elbow like this, you would just automatically expect that the forearms would be able to rotate as well. And sadly, that's not the case. Uh, no waist swivel. Legs go forward and back, bend at the knee, and uh, that's it. All the figures do have peg holes on the undersides of their feet. I guess in theory, uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, I don't really have it. Don't really have anything. I've got a, no, that's too big of a stand. I was actually thinking, I don't have it. No, I don't have it here. I was gonna say if you have a vinyl, the Funko vinyls, maybe they're the same size of pegs where you could use the clear, oh, there it is. I, I knew I had it here somewhere. There's the clear peg, let's try it. I haven't tried this, there we go. Oh, look, uses the same display stand. I guess all of the figures in theory could have come with this display stand it would have involved nothing more for Funko because they've already used the existing stands now for their vinyl figures. That would be V Y N L S vinyl figures. Um, but no, unfortunately they don't come with display stands. If you are somebody that is really going to showcase these, I mean, we're talking like lights shining down in their own respected display case, then maybe, yeah, you could venture into getting display stands such as this. I'm glad I was able to find those and uh, you would be able to display the figures a little bit better. That way they wouldn't be able to fall over. Unfortunately, uh, Pennywise did fall over in my previous review. As you can clearly see right here, knock on wood, nothing has fallen over thus far. Again, I feel like this three and three quarter inch scale line from uh, Funko really deserves these characters that have vehicles. At the very least, the gang should have had their own bikes or they could have had dioramas, something to display these figures other than just simply putting them on your shelf. But I don't honestly think Funko really cares enough about this line. They're pretty much just gonna churn these out the same way as they churn out everything else. Churn it out and then quickly just dismiss it and move on to something else, which is a bit of a shame because again, I like this line myself. I, I would have liked it so much more if we could do a little bit more with the figures. Very least, they could have come with more display stand options. They could have come with the dioramas. They could have come with bicycles. They could have come with some other vehicles or something to display these figures with. But again, I think I care a little bit more about this line than Funko really cares about this line. At the end of the day, I think they only released the four packs, the four three figure packs, and that's it. That's all they've really done for it. And then they've, like I said, moved on to something else. Bigger and better things, I would probably debate that otherwise, but either way, if you guys are interested in picking up these sets for yourself, uh, some good news is that I think they're still available at local comic book stores. At the very least, when I've gone to my local comic book stores, I've been able to find still some of these sets uh, still kicking around. I think the only one that was missing where I went was the Bill and the Georgie set, but the, uh, the set that had Richie and Eddie was still available, and this set was still available. I mean, that's... It's irrelevant for me to tell you what's exactly available at my local comic book store because your comic book store is probably going to be different than mine. Either way, though, today we were having a look at new Funko. This is the three and three quarter inch action figure line of it. No accessories other than these. No vehicles. No display stands. No dioramas. Makes me really sad. Don't be sad, though, if you haven't had a chance yet to hit that little subscribe button down below. We're going to turn that frown upside down. Hit that little button that's just below this video, says subscribe, and then uh, future videos, hopefully you guys will never miss out on. By the way, also, why don't you swing on over to the homepage when you're finished this video, see if there's anything you may have missed along the way. You can, of course, hit that bell notification. I really don't know if that does anything at all, but the 100% guarantee, the best way to guarantee that you haven't missed out on anything I've done up to this point or future videos, swing on over to the homepage, check out the video section, enjoy, get yourself a nice sandwich, sit down, relax, you're welcome. 
Uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. As you always do, more videos will be coming your way. We're also going to have a look at the next set of these, which, again, would be the set consisting of Richie, Eddie, and, of course, the Pennywise the Clown in some various different transformative state other than what he's currently looking at right now. I got a feeling he's probably going to have spider legs. I kind of gave that away. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.